In this video we'll briefly discuss what is vitamin D3, colcalciferol. Vitamin D2, ergocalciferol. Calcidiol and calcitriol. They refer to various forms of vitamin D. We'll learn, what it's used for, how it works, the dose and side effects, contraindications and precautions. Vitamin D belongs to the family of fat-soluble vitamins, which include vitamins A, D, E, and K. These vitamins are absorbed well with fat, and are stored in the liver and fatty tissues. There are two main forms of vitamin D in the diet. Vitamin D2, ergocalciferol, found in plant foods like mushrooms. Vitamin D3, colcalciferol, found in the flesh of fatty fish, such as salmon, tuna, and mackerel. And fish liver oils, are among the best sources. Small amounts of vitamin D are found in beef liver, cheese, and egg yolks. Also foods such as cow's milk, soy milk, orange juice, cereals, and oatmeal are sometimes fortified with vitamin D. However, sunlight is the best natural source of vitamin D3. The UV rays from sunlight convert cholesterol in your skin into vitamin D3. Vitamin D3, colcalciferol, is synthesized in the skin from 7-dehydrocholesterol during exposure to ultraviolet light. Then it is transported to the liver, and is converted by 25-hydroxylase in the liver to calcidiol, also known as 25-hydroxyvitamin D, and subsequently converted by 1-alpha-hydroxylase in the kidney, to the most active form, 1-25-dehydroxyvitamin D, calcitriol. This process, also takes place in different tissues and cells in the immune system, such as lymph nodes, alveolar macrophages, and also in alveoli themselves. Vitamin D is known to play an important role in bone metabolism, through regulation of calcium and phosphate homeostasis, and may also play an important role in immune system regulation. It promotes the absorption of calcium in the gut, and retention at the kidneys. This increases serum calcium levels, and decreases phosphate levels, parathyroid hormone, and bone resorption. It is available in many concentrations as vitamin D3, vitamin D2, calcitriol, and alpha-calcidiol. They are available as capsules, oral solution and injection. In addition to causing rickets, vitamin D deficiency has been linked to respiratory infections such as pneumonia, tuberculosis and bronchiolitis. Pneumonia is a severe form, of acute lower respiratory tract infection, and is the leading cause of death in children worldwide. Some studies have suggested that vitamin D supplementation, can decrease the frequency and severity of respiratory infections among children, however further research is needed before specific recommendations can be made. So vitamin D is indicated in the prevention and treatment of vitamin D deficiencies, rickets and osteomalacia. The usual dose for prevention of vitamin D deficiencies, when using 50,000 international units tablet or capsule. For children under 5 years, 100,000 international units, every 3 months, during periods of limited sunlight. And for children over 5 years and adults. The usual dosage is 100,000 international units, every 3 months, or 200,000 international units, every 6 months. And for pregnant women, 100,000 international units, around the 6th or 7th month of pregnancy. And the usual dosage of vitamin D, when using an oral suspension for children and adults, is 400 international units once daily, during periods of limited sunlight. And for children rarely exposed to sunlight, or dark-skinned children, doses may be doubled. And for the treatment of vitamin D deficiencies, the usual dosage for children and adults, is 800 to 4000 international units, once daily for 6 to 12 weeks, then continue with preventive dose. Do not exceed 600,000 international units per year. In general. Consuming 400 to 800 international units of vitamin D, should meet the needs of 97 to 98% of healthy people. Vitamin D is generally well tolerated, 
so stop treatment if signs of overdosage happen, such as headache, anorexia, nausea, vomiting, increased thirst, and polyuria. Combine with a calcium supplementation, at the start of curative treatment, 500 mg to 1 gram per day. Avoid combination with thiazide diuretics. Do not administer to patients with hypercalcemia, hypercalcemia, calciclithiosis. There is no contraindication during pregnancy. And also not contraindicated during breastfeeding. But when curative treatment is being administered to the mother, do not give vitamin D to the child. That's all for this video. Subscribe and click on the bell icon for more animated medical videos like this one.